Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up. After all that time, she said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So the big brother had to kill her so they could escape. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too.
<sighs> Diaz brothers. Always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? No, I just... Just think about what happened. Don't think too much. It was her or us, Inano. No choice. Maybe we could have changed her mind. Do you... feel bad about it? Yes. I wish things were different. But we can't go back. Right. Sean. Are we criminals now? Sort of. We did a lot of... Illegal shit. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh, yeah, I can tell you. <sighs> been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm, let's see. Oh, yeah, okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf. The Wolf Brothers barely escaped from the Coyote Cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, lied... A mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me, who's telling the story? You are, but it's my story too, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay then, so what happens next? Uh, they, they arrive in Mexico. But the country is rampaged by goblins. Together, the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them and become heroes. The police forgives them, and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. I'm glad we had these. I'm not a fan of desert critters. So incredible to see all those stars and planets up close. <laughs> it's like we're right there. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after, you know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. We'll see about that. <laughs> Very funny. Smart ass. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hmm. Pretty good. 
But I can add more details if I want. My, hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm, I can try. Ruff looks cool, but messy. Should I keep going? Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Jeez. Do I really look that evil? He looks more like a super villain. Every star looked the same until we used Karen's old guidebook. I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. Hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Yep. Still need our processed sugar in this hippie desert. God damn. That food was amazing. Thanks, Joanne. <sighs> it's so nice and cool in the morning here. Then it gets so hot. Pretty useless with the crazy moonlight we had. <laughs> but it scares the coyotes away. Activate flashlight. On the way. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. 
You're no fun. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, little guy. Don't get eaten by eagles. Do eagles eat scorpions? No idea. <laughs> cool. Let's go. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. <laughs> yeah, these guys are real cool. Hey, see this? <sighs> Looks like the ones you did back in that cabin. When you got sick. Oh, totally. Wait, does that mean other people were here? Of course. Maybe someone from away did it. Oh, I bet it was Joanne. Think Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Amazing that anything can grow out here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well... Oh. Uh... Good question. Uh... Where were we? Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? She's... Um, confused. Like, what do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know, I mean, she hasn't seen you for years. Not sure she can deal with all of this at the same time. Huh. It must be weird for her. <sighs> I hear you. Got the munchies. Hope Karen has some food. Hey, you know who I'd see having a trailer out here? <laughs> who? <laughs> Brody. He'd love it. Like, he could have his own radio station and everything. Yeah, definitely. It would be so cool to have him around. <laughs> I miss him sometimes. <laughs> hey, need help getting down? Dude, I got this. Uh, see? Easy peasy. Until you fall on your ass. Yeah, but I didn't. After all that scary crap Daniel had to go through. Ooh, look, look. Oh, man. I just saw a cool baby lizard. Yeah, and you scared it. I know. Oh, shit. Whoa, how did that happen? Rock slide, I guess. 
Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. There you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice, man. see what Joanne is doing. Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Whatever. Joanne has waffles. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. She's really good at... Rewriting her own life. This one's pretty intense. I think I get it. Whoa. I hope Karen sends this to Claire and Steven.
Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party made him feel so happy. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ugh, gross. <laughs> Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shopping. Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. Looks like they all finally found their home. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They deserve some peace. So cute. <laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition now. She was that close. Sucks she had to pay all that money back. Huh. Is that the same person who rode her back in Beaver Creek? So good to have a home, again, and a real bed. Didn't realize how much I miss Cassidy's voice, and her songs, and, oh, dude. Man, I'm still not used to this heat out here. I 
had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. <sighs> Karen's a real-life hacker. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. <sighs> Must pay better than poetry. Brody's so good at describing painful situations and seeing the good into it. We miss you too, Lila. Always. Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Huh. Maybe they were nerds together. Ugh. Wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. <sighs> Gotta keep my eye lube handy. <sighs> Glad I don't need it as much. She changed my diapers, but... <clears throat> It feels kind of awkward to be here. One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their love for pancakes. It's nice to play games with Daniel again. <laughs> Karen likes to join us, too. Still can't believe she's kept it. Nice mess. <laughs> Daniel will never change. Karen taught me some cool off-the-grid shit. Not a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. <sighs> okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything. Not a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Now I can see why Karen likes it out here. It just took a while. She really doesn't want to be a part of society. <laughs> Except just this tiny one. She did screw us over, though. But Daniel's so happy to have her back. Get to know her. I still don't know how I feel.
Karen, you are so busted. Hey, do you miss Beaver Creek? I miss having a house. But the town was kind of dead. But I really miss Chris. And Grandma and Grandpa. I'm just glad we're still a family out there. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. Um, more like no service anywhere. Hmm. Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Karen practices what she preaches. She barters with her food, not money. Excuse me, water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. <laughs> oh yeah, we can grow a lot of stuff there. We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. Water management is kind of a big thing around here. Dude! We could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Oh, yes. Then I could be zomboy fighting vampires. Sucks that we can't get food coloring out here. Pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. I hope the UFOs are listening. <laughs> Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Daniel still misses Chris. Hey. Your Captain Spirit drawing... was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Wish I could show it to Chris. Do you think he could visit us down in Puerto Lobos? Yep. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Instead of snowmen, we can make sandcastles. You don't shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. Love the energy out here, with everyone building stuff as they please. This place is the ultimate playground for Daniel. Joanne can throw a total rager out here. But without asshole neighbors. Hello. 
love watching movies under the stars. Like a drive-in with no cars. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <sighs> kind of like me and Lila. Back in the day. There's power cuts all the time here. But no one's really bothered by it. Joanne says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. I love how they recycle everything into art, construction, or agriculture here. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. I don't know. It's just... doodles and shit. No big yeah. deal. I thought my sculptures were shit, too. Compared to all the dope stuff that was being done. But every artist is fucking unique, Sean. We all got something to bring to the world. So why are you all the way out here now? <laughs> Easy. I started selling my work for good money, and as soon as I did, everyone turned into smiling sharks. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? Okay. Sure. Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Man. I thought my art was weird. Hmm. Now... Let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Sweet. Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. Maybe you should keep the same bottom piece, don't you think? Daniel. You know, every artist sees and does things differently. I know. I just wanted to help him see it in my way. Ready, Sean? Hmm. Let's cut the pancake head for now. There he goes! <laughs> I 
Okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Now, let's throw on that spider. Totally. Activate Pancake Head. Check it out. feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanna's so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. It's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes, and you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot, shrouded in dust. Or it politics. Yeah, you hate it. All the way down. Um, you okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Well... That's cool, Joanne trusted me to help build her sculpture. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks. But they're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. I guess I'm always gonna be a visitor. Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. <laughs> These guys are like social directors here. I still love to party. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Hey. What's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. 
No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? <sighs> Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her, but you know... Well, some parts of the year, this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years. Until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So why stay? <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel will find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna hang around before it gets too hot. Thanks for the desert, Brew. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. Arthur and Stanley cannot wait for the 4th of July. I mean... You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. What the fuck? You are a stalker. Knock it off. What? Just cause I noticed things doesn't mean I'm a stalker. Hmm. Been a while since we last heard about Donnie. Do you think he'll be back from rehab someday? I didn't know he ever left. Gosh, you live in your own world, honey. That's what I love about <laughs> you. Super Wolf to Professor D. Copy. I hit something super Joanne's cool Joanne's been for cutting you. metal pipes this morning. Will you accept this Again. To find my I didn't come out to the treasure. desert to be awake at 5 a.m. 10-4. That's exactly the reason I'm okay. here. To get more You're deep. on it, Nano. If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. Yes. I keep worrying about Great, Sean. What if it is in care You must find That's the just too sad, that honey. The is. They both deserve Deal. a fucking break. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's that's it. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking Mom's trailer. It's outside! Yo, can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? D? 
The item is under the building that will blow you down. I bet Hippie started this place. I'm starting to see why now. They're warming up! It's close, Sean. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. You're lost, Sean. And I know, what was that last clue? Dude, this is not that hard. The second item is where the sun meets the earth. I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town. Not too far. You're warming up. Just grab it. You're here. Dude, you're a snowman. Daniel, copy. Give me a clue. Go too far, you're in the you lose your walkie talkie show. signal. David always wants to help. 
but he's tough to figure out. Pretty smart. Never gonna run out of sun in the desert. Oh, it's fun. <sighs> Found it. Nice. And it's a Tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Ahoy, matey! I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain! Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. <laughs> That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. Ooh, looks like something's buried here. Yes, I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah, I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Asked for it. Oh, I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Mm, yes, one hundred percent her. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. I'll let him know we're back. Gotta empty that truck. No matter what happened before. Karen did hook us up here. That counts. Hey. Glad to see you survived hey, what's up? in the desert. Hey, good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. People look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> The deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hide rating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. <laughs> Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So many stars. And so quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play, but I'm way better now. 
No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. Yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. Um, does that kind of scare you? Me? Goddamn right it does. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try and be a good influence, but our bond is complicated. We're brothers. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. <sighs> Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh, you didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. <laughs> I'm divorced now. But I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter before she died. We were like oil and water and she was always starting shit guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father especially one like me i just had no clue how to deal with her wish i did anyway you can't go back <sighs> nope thanks for talking david better start my delivery now found some weird snacks in town arthur's gonna freak <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <laughs> okay, time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. Hope my crops will make it. Karen has been camping in her own since we arrived. New statue? That woman is amazing. Admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? It's a bit remote for me. I mean, we're just so far away from civilization. Hmm. Civilization is only what you make it, right? That's why people come here, from all over the country. For their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. Hope it's worth it. It's not easy to live as outcasts. Off the grid? Clearly not. We ought to be almost self-sufficient. And it's a very lonely life. It's cool you found your safe space. I guess. 
You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all uh, talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10 4. <laughs> Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. Should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> <sighs> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big. And pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky. Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh! <gasps> Uh-oh. I hear a wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. No hunter can catch Super Wolf. Not even you. <laughs> you must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Um, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up.
I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey, do you appreciate that you guys stuck around this long? Thank you. It was good to get to know you better. See your life. This place is pretty cool. It's like Fairy Road, but nicer. I got to learn about living in a desert, hiking canyons, counting stars. <laughs> You're a natural born explorer. It's hard to believe you two are actually out here with me. I was lucky we had this chance. Just know I love both of you so much. I know you had it rough lately, but it'll be better when you're settled. <clears throat> By the way, uh... If you wanted to, you could come with us to Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You're almost there. But I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well... Figures. This couldn't last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things.
Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. I think... I'm kind of scared. Oh, oh honey. What are you gonna do now? Take off and hide? Not this time. <laughs> I can't just run from this forever. So I'll do what I have to, to help you. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start from the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too, for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. Mom, we'll go to jail for helping us. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. You don't have to do this, Karen. I let you guys down before. Not this time. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. You have to stay true to yourselves. But it's hard when somebody or something gets in the way. It can get ugly. You have to find some sort of balance. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. We already did. I know. You did what you had to, to protect your brother all the way from Seattle to Arizona. And I'm sorry, you had to make hard decisions to stay safe. But sometimes, you just have no other choice. Okay, this is the last roundup. Wait, let me say bye to Joanne. All right. I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. Figures they'd be looking for us. After all we did. Oh, shit. Hey, Mom. I know you're better with words than me, but still, here it goes. It took me some time, but I think I get why you are who you are. Maybe we're not that different. Please don't give up on your freedom, okay? It's the best thing you've taught us. We'll reach you once we find our own freedom. Thank you so much. Love, Sean.
Hey, Mom. I know you're better with words than me, but... Still, here it goes. It was so good for Daniel to see you again. He needed that more than anything. I'm sorry for getting you into trouble. You've done your best for us. And don't deserve what's coming. We'll make up for it. One day. Once the dust has settled. Take care. And talk soon. Sean. Tell can't believe she's kept it. Okay, dude. Don't forget about David. <laughs> Sean. Hey. Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. Must be his ex-wife. He's changed so much since this. And not for the best. I feel you, David. Yeah, me and David won't be sharing any playlist. Must be his ex-wife. He's changed so much since this. And not for the best. Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. That's right. I never saw David even drink a beer. <laughs> Weird. Didn't know David was so punk rock. Yep, David is ready for that apocalypse, or whatever. <laughs> Didn't think he'd be the type of guy to get custom plates. What's David doing with that? Creepy dude. Wonder where David got this police scanner. Huh. 
Okay. How does this thing work? Uh, okay. We gotta search between 140 and 160. This place has too many adults. One, two, three. But I'm gonna miss it. One, two, Still not the right one. Come on. It would be weird to be back on the road with Daniel. After all this time in a community. Is it? Uh, Sam's? <sighs> now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. <laughs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <laughs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? <laughs> sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. Y you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. Your experience forms you as a person. And I imagine all the shit you've seen and how it's changed you. 
Pretty much. Not comparing myself, but I had to go through my own hell. In war and at home. I didn't know how to deal with emotions or other people. Are you talking about your stepdaughter? Yeah. Some rich fucking kid shot her at school, where I was supposed to protect her. Me and her hated each other on sight. But once I lost her, everything became clear. How selfish and stupid I had been. I should have listened to Chloe, instead of being a bully. All of my fuck-ups are crystal clear now. But I'm not gonna fuck this up. Sean, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you, okay? Yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed. But you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? If you step up and face the law, you can be free sooner than later. I don't know. I might turn myself in after I see what happens with Daniel. I know you want to settle down first, but keep your options open. Think about it. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So, I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, Joyce. Right on time. Yeah, I'm good. Finally done setting up those solar panels. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm mostly working when the sun's going down. You got that right. Now, how about you? Oh, uh, any news from the vet? Good. That's a relief. Hope I can see that little boy next time I swing by Santa Rosa. Nah. Still haven't heard anything. Just hope they won't let him out. Well... You know lawyers. Can't expect much from them. Sure. Okay. Hey, take care. Talk soon. Bye-bye. Please, please don't let the cops come looking for us out here. Hi, Sean. Hey, guys. Wish I could be as cool and as wise as these guys when I get older. Look at that. 
I thought there was only vultures in the desert. I came by to say adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? Everything okay? Yeah, just time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. Yeah, but it's too risky, especially for all of you. We all took a risk moving here. Look, we can hide you from the cops. <laughs> Not these ones. They want my ass. It's better if we leave now. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? We'll try. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay. I'm done babbling. I just hate goodbyes. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Uh, we... We're gonna make it work. Shit. I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care. You hear? Watch out for Daniel. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. Damn. Can't wrap my head around those two leaving. That's just unfair. Daniel just looks like got we got everything. Back. It was always clear. Time to hit the highway. Forever, honey. They have their own way to go. Will you be playing ukulele again today? Maybe. Yeah. When we're in Mexico, we won't have to deal with this shit anymore. I don't know. Come on. Hey. What's going on? Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. So, what do you think? <laughs> Looks very cool. I can totally tell what you're doing. <laughs> Good. That makes one of us. But I like it. Of course, you and Daniel, you did inspire me. I love it! So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, uh, that's sweet. <laughs> You're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around was <laughs> the sweetest thing. This is for all your help. Really? Whoa. That's great. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> Your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Okay, one big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. <laughs> Thank you. Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself. And my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey. Is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. So long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. I'll miss you so much, Joanne. I know, sweetie. I'll miss you, too. I had so much fun and inspiration building all these things with you. Me, too. It's the first time I use my power to actually... build something. I usually just use it because... I have to. Hey, don't worry. I'm sure we'll get another chance to work together. Once you're settled. Yeah. I hope so. You got a long way to go. So get your ass in gear.
This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. After the desert roads, you deserve a nice beach retreat. Hey. Oh. Need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. So, do you think your truck will make it all the way to the border? Oh, it will. It's never failed me before. How long have you been driving for? Not long enough. Dad taught me, but... I always had other plans. We didn't go cruising too much. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be, too. Yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. <laughs> Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Did you guys ever go to Mexico together? We talked about going, but never did. He said growing up there was hard, but he loved it. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running, of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. I just want to get this shit over with. So we can start over, if we can. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. You're gonna have to learn to trust him and let go, even if that scares you sometimes. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out, like you always do. Okay. Better get back to my tune-up. All right. I'll make one last round before leaving. Better get the car and hit the road now. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to away? Yeah. Kinda sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, and I know. Come here. Mom. I... I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It was amazing to spend this time with you. I'm so damn proud of you both. And what you're gonna do with your life. And if you ever need me, I'm just around the corner. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it. Thanks, Mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son. <sighs> Look.
Let's hit the road. Hey, is something wrong? We're almost there, okay? <laughs> That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So, what's the problem? What? What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? As long as we want. We have a house there. That's what Dad wanted, and I know. So, what are we gonna do for money and stuff? I get a job, man. It won't be hard. You can probably go to school. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? I'll teach you, man. You think so? That's cool. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel... I get scared, too, you know? But we'll be... We'll be fine. Okay. I trust you.
so big. Dude, it's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. All units be advised. After the raid on the way, there was no sign of Sean and Daniel Diaz. We believe they left within the past few hours. The two brothers are still considered armed and dangerous. Proceed with caution. At this time, only the mother of the fugitives has been arrested. Oh no. Sean, why would they arrest Mom? Why? So they can give her shit. But she didn't do anything. The cops will have to let her go. I hope so. Why can't they just leave us alone? They're going to. Once we're over that fucking wall. This shit lasts until Puerto Lobos. Unless our car breaks down in the desert. Uh, hey, Sean, why would they build this? Well, you know, it's a border, man. Is there a wall like this up north? Nah, not really. So, why did they build one here? I don't know, Daniel. That sucks. This is the opposite of Seattle. We're at the end of America. Is Dad's house in Mexico going to be totally trash, or what? I'm sure it is. Whatever. That's a good project for us, right? I know. It's gonna be super easy with my power. Shit. I didn't think there would be more than a barbed wire fence out here. So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. Right, Super Wolf? Uh, almost. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. We did it! <gasps> we fucked that shit up. <laughs> yes! <sighs> 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 
It's all thanks to you. It's gonna be all right now. We've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh, man! Oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean! <laughs> Same scenery. Different country. So, how long the part to Lobos? Only a couple of hours. You know what? You can ask that question once more. Once. Okay, okay. I just can't wait. That would be cool if we could just walk to the beach. It'll be so Daniel! Daniel! Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! Oh. 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 No. No way. Not now. Daniel! Hey! Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey, oh. Oh. oh, shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! Going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. That's fucking funny. Who are you? You're not border agents. Uh, we're citizens. We serve our country. By shooting people! Better them than us. Yeah. Look, you just blew up that wall, so don't start acting all friendly. So tell me the plan. You're not cops! You can't arrest us. No, but we work with them. And they sure appreciate our help. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on. We have to deal with this kid. <sighs> Still bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off. Yeah, don't move. Ugh. What the fuck? Get it off! Stop! Get it off! Jesus! What the fuck is going on? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why not? Listen, uh, we have a deal. He knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. Fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegals! Fuck's sake! What I say? Uh, okay. Up. Up. Take a breath. You okay now? Daniel! What? Uh, I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? <laughs> You're under arrest.
Don't look at me. Estás bien. Sí. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla y este frijolito de aquí es uh, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron a, a, cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. No way I can break through that door without oh, Daniel's help. Daniel's almost done with the paperwork. Then we're out and we're not coming back. Ugh, this place is fucking gross. Jeez. Wonder how many people have been locked up in here. I wonder how long they've been here. And why. This guy must be trained not to listen to anything we say. What the hell is wrong with these people? Is Daryl watching the kids? Uh, no. Nah. He worked a double shift today. His sister's got him. Good. She's a good kid. And she's more patient than your husband. <sighs> so tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? ¿Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. En realidad, um, queremos llegar a México. ¿A México? No mames. Pero, ¿por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí, nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. Son muy valientes. Y además estás embarazada. <ríe> Mi Carlita es la mujer más valiente del mundo. <ríe> Y la más inteligente también. En nuestro pueblo era profesora. Queremos que el niño nazca en este país. Que tenga la nacionalidad. Queremos darle una vida... Una vida mejor a nuestro hijo. O hija. Es lo que hizo mi papá. Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres. Para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba su pueblo natal. Por supuesto. Pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse. Como nosotros. No quiero desanimarte, amigo. Pero lo de México... No va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Y me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero... Allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Los tiempos cambian. Pero la gente también. En el camino... Encontré muchos aliados. Ojalá haya menos personas intolerantes en el futuro. Ojalá. Cuando eres extranjero, tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglártelas. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. 
No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, N not steal or live at your, uh, your home. Diego, no, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. Immigrants built this country. Where did the founding fathers come from, huh? No, no, no. That was different. They made the laws. They wouldn't stand by and let this happen. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. An honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. Your facts are just bigotry and hatred. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I hate what you did to my country. Our borders. We have a right to protect our sovereign nation, and we will. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. No, you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. What you say? Oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. This is our country. Siento bien. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tienes razón, amor. No vale nada. Whether you people like it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too, loser. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey, you have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Okay, let's move it. All right, sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood, but he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. <sighs> Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. I hope he's all right. Oh, shit. Is it morning already? Haven't seen how am I gonna get myself out of this mess? No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. Of course not. No point in getting these off. They're great. Now I can put on a fucking show. I hope Daniel doesn't freak out in here. But I'm not illegal! I'm a sovereign citizen! Open up! Uh, hey! What are you babbling about now? Do you ever just not yell? It's been a long fucking night. We're all sick of your shit. If I have to come back here again, you're going to solitary. Got it?
There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? Yeah. Coffee's gonna make me feel so oh, much better. At least it'll keep me up. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Assaulting a gas station clerk. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then, you join a religious commune in Nevada, and its leader is found dead short after. Hmm. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with, but not all that. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. She spoke to your mother who took responsibility for the church fire. That's not true. She had nothing to do with it, and you know it. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey, it's not up to me, kid. Listen, I feel sorry for you. I really do, but Denying what you did will only make things worse. It wasn't my fault. All I did was try to survive. Yeah, I guess you did. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident. So why didn't you wait for the police? No one would have believed what happened. We didn't either. Well, it's too late now. Your case is filled to the brim with evidence. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? What do you want me to say? We're supervillains. We can't help but destroy shit. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I bet the judge will love this. Maybe he'll give you special treatment. Whoa! What is that? Sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. Sean! You okay? How do you feel? I'm okay, just a little headache. Hold on. Dude, we gotta go. Hold up. Is he okay? I I wanted to rescue you, but I I had to use my power. I didn't want to hurt him. He's okay. Don't worry. Nothing personal, dude. Sean, like... who are these people? Well, Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico. <laughs> Shall we try to make peace with these morons? Well, 
Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico. And got thrown in jail for it. As for the others, they're the ones who try to shoot you. What? They got locked up? Good. Oh, go to hell. Wait, aren't you supposed to be in a hospital? You look like crazy people. I'm glad you're locked in. Oh, whatever. Get lost, kid. Come on. Let's get out before the fucking backup gets here. Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Daniel? What? That's it? Gracias. Muchas gracias. Esperenme aquí. Until I check this out. Of course. Holy mother. How'd you do that? How? Wait, please. What really the fuck are you? Sorry. Gracias. Daniel, can you open their cell? What if they attack us? They won't. Trust me. All right. Step back. What are you doing? You're welcome. Why? What did you do that for? Because we're not assholes. Thank you. Yeah, don't make us regret this. You think... Good thinking, Daniel. No, no, he's okay. Stay here. He'll just wake up Until with a nasty headache. settle down. We can't let them. All that noise. They're not alone. We're not cut out for this. That's a rush on. Okay. You're right. Okay, oh, hands up. Shit. Don't move. Don't shoot. Hands up. Do not move. Wait, Sean. Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick. We gotta find something to stop them. The luck, dude. Get us. What's going on? We will shoot we'll if shoot. we need to. Understand? The chair. What the fuck? Don't do. Okay, what the fuck? Do not move. This is. Put him in there. Now. Okay. Uh. Uh. You're the man. Now let's move. Sean, I think our things are in there. Step back. Nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, but be quick. After this, you're not gonna hunt shit anymore. Bet it belongs to one of these trigger happy people. Pretty good memory. From a pretty bad place. There's probably more of them coming. Look at that. Let's go. Crime Central. Come on, Sean. We gotta go. We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. I hate that he has to use this for all this shit. Take it out, Daniel. Que Dios los bendiga. Okay, go, go! Let's roll, Daniel. No, 
nobody is chasing us. Not yet. Emergency! This is all points bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers have escaped from the El Rey police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean, it's the 4th of July. Our first one without Dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He was so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Sean, what are we gonna do? Sean! Sean Diaz! It's over! Don't make this worse! Get out of the car! Slow! Wave your hand above your head! Do exactly what I say! You know that day in Seattle, the date Dad was shot? I think about it every day, and I would give anything to change what happened, but I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. I'm so proud of you, Nano. Just like Dad would be. We both learned a lot together. But you can make your own rules now. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will always do the right thing, okay? Don't. Waste your power. Be smart like you already are. I don't want to be separated. Please. Don't make any more mistakes. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end?
they make it to the other side. What? You sure? Trust me, okay? Just get us through. Hold on tight. No, no, I don't wanna. I'm not hurting anyone at all. Sean, over the It's too late. They're shooting at us, Daniel. This is the only way. Sorry, Sean, but I have to go. What? What are you talking about? Don't turn back for me. I hope you'll be happy in Mexico.